Let's create the new strongest secret ghetto in anime fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Yo, what up guys? F minus gang gang here. Check it out for that new Jujutsu Kaisen update. How hyped are you guys feeling about this update? Because me and my boy Ghetto over here, we're feeling pretty hyped. And that's what I want to do for the video, guys. Let's take advantage of all of the features in the game. Check it out right here. You see my mouse cursor? Incubator level cap raised to 225. Level cap raised to 460. Why don't we try to create the strongest secret unit in the game once again? Except this time it's going to be on the Jujutsu Kaisen map. I know that there is Gojo. You guys see my mouse cursor right there? We have Gojo in the game. However, as you guys are aware, uh, we can't really get Gojo. It's a little difficult. The best I've been able to do is pull like, sheesh. I'm talking like 50 secrets. Y'all see all these secrets on my inventory? You remember on stream, we tried to get Gojo. Unfortunately, it was not possible. But that's okay, we still got the secret. And I'm gonna tell you right now, secret units are amazing. You can't get the divine, just get the secret like F minus. You guys will witness. Uh, in real time, F minus creating the strongest secret in the game. Currently, his base damage, our ghetto, it's 1.1k, and shiny, 1.9k. And you guys also have the craftable. We have Toji here, 1.5k. So this is the reason I'm doing ghetto and not Toji. Toji is just a little bit weaker. Ghetto is way stronger. So if you guys are ready, F minus is ready too. Let's go transform our ghetto over here, literally. You can see his name, it says ghetto. We're gonna make this guy as strong as possible by limit breaking him. And we're also gonna roll Requiem, uh, the Requiem machine to get double protagonist, if possible. Here we are, Made in Abyss map. Requiem passive machine, guys. I don't know when they're adding crew leader to the passive index they really should because you can see light speed is there light speed is an event passive so let's take our ghetto we're gonna go ahead and select them dang 25 shards pretty expensive we do have 820 requiem rerolls though so that's pretty good i can just do a shard just for test we got speedy passive not really what we want the only thing we're trying to go for is protagonist and i will sacrifice every single unit in our inventory if we have to I don't know how much EXP Baki gives, but we'll sacrifice him. We'll sacrifice our 460 Ghetto right there. I'll sacrifice my Asta Divine 446 with double protagonist if F- minus has to. What I'll do though is just keep on re-rolling until we end up getting that Requiem passive. So I'm gonna turn on auto reroll, Prota protagonist, that's it. And by Requiem passive, I mean protagonist passive. Uh, See so you guys whenever I get it. Hopefully it doesn't cost too many tokens. You know what? You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You really cannot make this stuff up. Y'all see this protagonist? 765 rerolls left. That's what I'm talking about. I told you, I can't really do this on a divine because it takes forever to get Gojo. And because there's no summer map, there's no clone machine. Although clone machine will be coming back permanently at a different date. I need to get this guy max level ASAP. So with one protagonist, what do we do now? We need to limit break them. If we try to level them up, we definitely can. It's just better if we have double protagonist. So let's go ahead and make them shiny. And then we're going to limit break them. It won't take long at all, guys. All right, check me out. Here is the shiny machine, just like how we always do, guys. Let's get hyped for this. I'm telling you, this guy's going to be really strong. Um, the last update, I tried to make Yujiro strong, Baki's father. And he was powerful. He had, like, double flaming. This guy, there's no more, like, you know, uh, summer passives. But that's okay. We'll try to make something happen. Maybe double monster. It would line up with him. Uh, right now, we didn't make him shiny. And I think we might have another shiny one. Yeah, we have two shinies. So I just need one more shiny ghetto. And then we're going to limit break this dude. I will be paying. I'll be paying a little yeah, bit of Robux. Yeah, if you pay Robux, it reduces the timer for the limit breaker. And if you don't know, limit breaking right here, it now scales on rarity. You guys see my mouse cursor? Limit breaking now scales on unit rarity. Basically, limit breaking units is just easy now for free to play and end game players. All right, check me out. Here is the icy waste map limit breaker machine. Come on, y'all. This is a little too easy for F minus. I just started the video five minutes ago. We're getting incredibly lucky. So it says 10 days, but if you craft it, it now says it's going to say seven, nine days. Boom, seven days. See, there was a buff. And if I pay Robux, which I will, I'll probably pay like, I don't know, a thousand Robux, 2000 Robux. I'm going to cut the time down as much as possible. I do that. We will have a limit broken fighter and I'll be able to get double passives. We get double protagonist on our ghetto. We can get this guy to the new level cap of I think 480. Y'all see my little ghetto right there. I think 480. 
yeah, level cap raised to 460, double protagonist, extra 20 levels. It sounds good to me. Hopefully it sounds good to you guys. Let's create that strongest secret right now. Pretty easy and pretty simple stuff. All I got to do is just go into the time chamber and then use the time potions, wait a little bit. And then because we have also a 5x time event at the bottom right of the screen, now we are finished. Go ahead and take a look at that. Curse Devourer, the limits have been broken. So that new buff really helps us out. We basically say, like two days when you try to limit break and you have no time multiplier so it's perfect for you guys that are free to play i'm gonna go ahead and claim him all we got to do now is probably max this dude's talent out so let's go type it in his name is ghetto <laughs> look at this protagonist we get another protagonist we max his talent he will be perfect he'll be fine guys level 480 i'm telling you we will be able to pull it off we just got really lucky with the protagonist earlier. Let's head to Destiny Island right now. Let's get a little extra damage out of him. Here we go. Destiny Island. Here is the talent machine. We're going to take our ghetto. Oh my gosh. No way. I don't think I've ever seen a unit have D talent. Especially not a seeker unit. His base damage is 2. Negative 18%. Ultimate damage. Negative 32%. Bro, this guy is garbage. Like he's actually hot garbage. But that's why you always max out your units. That way you can get extra damage, attack speed, movement speed. We're literally getting 90% damage boost, ultimate damage, attack speed. That's how you guys want to do it if you want to become stronger in anime fighters. Now we can go ahead and equip him. We'll take a look at how strong he is. And take a look at this. Woo! We got our ghetto right here. He has like a light blue, light purple uh, passive aura because he has protagonist. Plus he has his own aura. It's, you can't really see it that well, but that's okay. We still have to max level him. But that comes after we get another protagonist. We do have to get another protagonist so we get that extra level cap plus the leveling speed boost. It's a good thing that they buffed incubators in the game as well. Because all I gotta do is equip Chief Maid, maybe use an EXP boost and like an EXP event. Be one of my units in my inventory. We can definitely make it happen for the video guys. It is possible. So all we gotta do now is turn on auto reroll. Pray that we get another protagonist and we are going to be halfway there once i get another protagonist all i have to do guys is max level him the passives even if we get mythical passives it's okay because there's no summer passive machine i can't get flaming i can't get relaxed it kind of sucks but that's okay like i said the fact that we get him to 480 boom we have created the strongest secret unit in the game and now that i think about it i'm gonna try to get double ghostly on this guy it i feel like we should get double ghostly oh damn boy damn, damn boy. boy look at this guys double protagonist 342 rerolls left so we might actually be able to even get monster after we max level our ghetto this is actually pretty damn good i didn't expect to get double protagonist this easily i guess you could say f minus has some really good luck in the game that's kind of nice we can go ahead and whip out our ghetto right now Woo! oh my goodness now you can see his aura it's a little bit darker all we have to do like i said is max level him so why don't we take some units in our inventory maybe even go to the incubation chambers and then try to level up this dude as much as possible i guess we can start with fusing i'm sure like there's some units in our inventory like mewtwo here this guy is 470 what if i fed mewtwo to ghetto i just not like i need mewtwo anymore i mean it's double flaming you know 470 but if i fed mewtwo 411 to 471 damn that's a lot of exp that's what i'm talking about guys what if i go to the time chamber now how fast is it to level up this dude if i just put him in the incubator so what i'll do is i will equip my time team after i have my time team i'll use a time potion um i'll probably have to get some from the daily rewards or somehow get a time potion and then I'll use my time avatar or maybe my EXP avatar. I'll use Chief Maid. It'll give us a little extra EXP. We're going to max level our incubator right here. Y'all see this? Ooh, max level now, 230. And all we would have to do is just ter type in a curse, take our double protagonist and level him up. How fast is it? 426, 429, 445. Wow. We had just started five seconds ago. Now he's at 451. And then I guess you give it a couple more minutes and then it'll be 453. There it is. Woo! This is going a little bit faster than we expected. That's what I'm talking about. So like I said, let me just try to max level this dude. Um, based on the math that I'm doing, I think we have to feed Mewtwo. It's it's not like we need Mewtwo, guys. It's okay. F minus, please don't do it. Please don't feed your Mewtwo. I, I <laughs> I'm going to feed the Mewtwo, guys. I'm just letting you know right now. This right here, this unit, let's fuse it in three 
two and one say goodbye Bye, to our divine unit we're doing it for the video guys yes sir we always feed our divine units to max level them way way faster and now if we take a look at our curse devourer double protagonist 170 y he's not max level yet but i can max level him you guys can see the exp bar fill up just a little bit actually this might take a little bit of time however i can still use a super time potion once I get a super time potion, I'm sure this is going to be a lot faster. It might only take a couple hours. I'll let you guys know. Let's go max level our ghetto and then reroll off of his passives. I spy with my little eye a max level secret unit in the game. The strongest secret unit now. I've probably been inside of this time chamber for like five or six hours, maybe seven hours, just AFK. I came back. We'll take a look at it. Our ghetto is now level 480. See? And as long as you guys you know you're afk in the game him you will be able to max level your units and my incubator is level 230 so it does help out a lot plus i have the chief made exp we combine all of that together now we have a max level unit let's go with draw him keep in mind we're not done yet though i just want to see like what is dow damn oh, boy <laughs> damn um huh. if we get monster i think we can break one x i i think we can break one x we still have a lot of Requiem tokens. I'm pretty sure we can break 1x, guys. We have our ghetto here like, damn, double protagonist. If we get monster, 3x damage. I'm pretty sure it's possible. Let's see if we can pull it off. If we can't, that's okay. Let's make it happen. And after we get this protagonist or off protagonist and get monster, if possible, all we got to do is just test out his attacks. This dude's... <laughs> oh my gosh. This dude is crazy. I won't keep protagonist. Uh, if we get ace, I guess. Solid gold. Anything with a high damage multiplier, basically. Ghostly, remember? Double ghostly blessing. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. Maybe mercenary. I don't think sorcerer. Actually, you know what? Okay, we got Ace. <laughs> this game is weird. I should get Sorcerer. If you think about it, Ghetto is a Sorcerer. It only makes sense I get Sorcerer 3. So, let's keep rerolling these passives. I have Ace. I don't think I'm going to keep Ace, though, because you have Vegito, Avatar, um, and then also Endeavor. Those are better for damage. You don't really need Ace passive anymore. But right now, I feel like we're, <laughs> we're doing pretty damn good. I can't believe we just rolled Ace just like that. I told you guys, F-Mon has got some really good luck. I would not be so... Okay, we got solid gold. How much damage does he have now? 550Y. It is not enough, though. So we're just going to keep re-rolling. I will re-roll off of solid gold. And then we're just going to keep on praying, guys, that we get something better than what we currently have. Yo, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really tried. I really tried. We did get him to 480. You can kind of see what passive he has. It's double blessing. Can you guys imagine that? We should have got blessing on Toji. We actually got blessing on our ghetto. And this guy is doing 700 Y damage. We did not break 1X, but it's incredibly difficult, guys, to get these kinds of passives without the duping machine. I think we still did okay. We did do our best. I mean, look, we got 480. My boy over here has a 412 ghetto. I think ours is a lot better. So let's put him to the test. Now we got the attack speed boost and the damage boost. Let's go to Sorcerer World. Let's one shot some enemies. Here we go, guys. Jujutsu Kaisen map. Let's go look for some noobs that want to fight. This Sorcerer, one tap. What if we try to kill this guy? Martial Sorcerer, one tap. What about this dude? One tap. Oh, come on, guys. It's a little too easy. Let me use a damage boost. You know, just get a little extra damage. Now let's try Corrupt the Sorcerer. One tap. Damn. <laughs> We're actually really OP. Now we have, I think, the strongest boss. Uh, maybe, actually, that's the strongest boss back there. Giant Corrupted Sorcerer. Damn. Oh, my God. Ghetto's crazy. Yo. <laughs> we literally one-shot every single enemy on the last map of the game. That's a one-shot right there. And uh, I guess this boss over here. I don't even know if that's a boss. That's a one-shot. There has to be something stronger. <gasps> the Volcano Guy. Yeah. Let's go attack him. Ooh, this might be a little bit more tough, y'all. This might be a little bit more tough. Let's go send our ghetto out to attack, and let's see his attack animation. So here's the volcano dude. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So you guys can see right now, Curse Devourer. We got our ghetto. One hit, two hit, three hit, four hits. And then you guys can see the ability effect that he does. He basically, I guess he does like a little cursed energy kind of thing. Um, I didn't really get to good, like a good look at it. Our ghetto just kills the enemy a little too fast. So I'm not really sure. We can go ahead and try it out one more time. But let's go to the time chamber. All right, here is the moment of truth. We're not doing a DPS check. I just want to see like his attack animation. There's one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits. And then what does he do? Yo, okay. So he puts his leg behind his back and he does like some kind of like cursed energy. Ooh, damn. 
that effect is really cool. Look at the sky. Damn. Hey, yo. Okay, you know what? I think Ghetto's pretty good. He doesn't have double secret passive, but we did get double secret passive earlier, double protagonist. I think he's still solid. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. It's good enough until we get the divine. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.